Hey, it's your girl, Amanda Nicole, and I am back with a love story. You want to hear all about it? Here it goes. nutty sitting in front of this front door like this but the power is out and i figured what better time to catch up on my youtube videos than now so i am going to fill you guys in on how me and my special person met and got engaged so you get a two for one yes make sure you pause but not like that just pause the video but don't pause right now. Pause after I tell you what to do when you pause. So what I want you to do is I want you to like and subscribe. Now pause and go do it. All right, are you back? Did you do it? You better because I will find you and I will make you pay. What movie is that? Comment below. <laughs> so, okay, cool story. Me and my husband, future husband, um, fiance uh, fiance i don't even have on my ring y'all what kind of fiance am i but okay back to the real deal holy deal so me and my now fiance met in 2011 forever ago so yes yeah, so we met in 2011 and we met at a club called club cream ultra lounge it's in atlanta or it was in atlanta and it was on beaver highway i do not think it's there anymore but maybe one day I'll drive by just to check it out. So he swear I had on either like a blue dress or like a purplish blue dress. I don't remember. I don't even think I own a purple dress, but hey, whatever. And he said when I walked in the club with my girlfriends, walked in all sexy like this. <laughs> when I walked in with my girlfriends, it was like the Red Sea parted. And a halo came and the angels came down and they sang, She's your queen to me. Now y'all know why I'm not a singer. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing with y'all. Listen, I walked in. I do remember him and his friends being there. They were standing at the bar. And when we came in, we were, you know, scoping the scene, seeing where the fellas was at. And he called me over for a drink. And I was like, okay, sure, bet. So the whole night, me and my girls and him and his boys, you know, we hung out. They bought us drinks. We danced. We kiki, ha ha, and we had a good time. At the end of the night, he asked for my phone number. And after buying me all them drinks, I had to get a man my number. Plus, he was swagged out, okay? My boy was looking clean. <laughs> so I gave him my number. And after that, we dated for about three months. Nothing too serious. We were never in a committed relationship at the time. I'm sure he had other guys. Oh, no, not other guys. We in Atlanta, but not that part. So <laughs> I'm sure he had other girls and I had other guys. And um, after three months, it kind of just faded away, you know. Um, he was back and forth a lot to Florida. Um, which is his hometown, well, home state. And, you know, I spent most of my time here in Atlanta. So we just, it just didn't work out. So after three months, he just, you know, fell by the wayside. Um, one day he went to Florida and he told me he was going to be back by a certain time. I hadn't heard from him, so I think I called him and he never called me back. Your girl got ghost. <laughs> and, um, because you know it was nothing serious um when i called that one time and he didn't call back i was just like okay next guy on the roster pull up <laughs> and it was what it was so five years go by and you know your girl be looking good if you don't know check out my instagram it's at amanda n i underscore co c o l e which is amanda nicole subscribe if you don't know now you know baby baby all right so yeah that link will be below too <laughs> but yes yeah, so fast forward five years um he was a friend of mine on facebook um so fast forward five years later and he saw your girl looking good on facebook or whatever and yes 
I do have a Facebook. Um, I don't post my Facebook profile because it's really just my family there. Um, but I've had Facebook ever since you needed a college or university email address to get it. And I probably will always have it um, just because I'm away from my family. But listen, that's another topic. Anyhow, send me a message on Facebook. First, he commented under one of my pictures because, you know, your girl was looking good as always. And he was like, oh, I see you, Miss Wilson. You're looking nice. And I wanted to say, oh, don't I know it. But instead, I kept it humble and I said, thank you. So, of course, he sent me a message after that in my messenger. And he asked for my phone number. I gave it to him. And you know, the first thing I thought was, boy, you ghosted me five years ago. And then you want to ask my number again. But, all right, here you go. Let's go out. <laughs> but he asked my number. He called me. He asked me on a date and we met up. We met up in June of um, in June of that year and we absolutely had an amazing time, guys. Like it was so nice and so fun and we sat and we talked for hours. We were at the restaurant for at least three hours um, until they actually closed, like closed down, like, hey, y'all got to go. We trying to sweet time, peace. It's a spider web. Um, <laughs> so once the restaurant closed we went to the parking lot and in the parking lot we stayed for at least another hour hour and a half and at the end mind you i'm not a big kisser i don't like to kiss um people that i'm not like familiar with i think kissing is like very intimate and passionate and it's just not my thing but i had so much fun and i felt like it was a connection that wasn't there you know five years prior and um when he leaned in for that good night smookaroo um I allowed it and we kissed and I know it sounds like a fairy tale but that's because it is eh. dreams do come true <laughs> we are still princesses um, but yeah so that was in June we of course first date we're not in a, in a relationship or anything like that um, July comes around it's my birthday we hang out um, one time in July I was still dating other people because you know I was dating um actively but in a healthy manner um and i think it was maybe uh september that we just kind of had a talk and we was like hey i like you you like me what's up what we gonna do it's like you know give us some time to figure things out um which basically mean let me let these other people go you let your people go then we can kind of meet in the middle so by october of that year we were in a relationship okay so now fast forward <laughs> <laughs> to 2021 when he proposed to me guess what in june <laughs> and it was not even like meant to be that way because you go guys don't think about stuff like that he didn't even realize that we went on our first date in june and that he was proposing in june too didn't didn't make a connection whatsoever but you know your girl did so one of my favorite cities in the united states is Miami okay like this page if Miami is your top three cities in the US of A okay so he took me to Miami and I knew something was off because he let me do whatever I wanted to do that weekend and he knows I'm a foodie so I have all of these different restaurants and usually he's like no because he's a picky eater but this weekend, it was just like, yes, 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 whatever you want. We stayed at one hotel. I'll actually put that link um, below as well, just as a courtesy, because the hotel was everything. Okay, baby? Everything. Great A. Okay? Service. Quality. Decor. Like, ooh, the ambiance. Everything was amazing from start to finish. Um, I highly recommend it. They have several locations. Um, I've only been to the one in Miami. But anyhow, um, and their courtesy car is a Tesla. How freaking cool is that? And it's a Model X, okay? And I also have a Tesla. <laughs> I'll put that link below too. So if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, look at my Tesla videos for more information. So everything was amazing. The last night, he hired a personal chef. So our hotel was a suite and it had a full kitchen. It had a sub-zero refrigerator, y'all. Okay? Sub-zero. Matter of fact, I have a video on Instagram. I will try to figure out how to save it and upload it here so you guys can see. Um, 
I'm gonna take the sound off of the video because I was acting like a straight bird, like a bird ain't never been nowhere. Choo -choo. But um, yeah, so sub zero refrigerator, um, stove, all that good stuff. The chef came, four course meal. My baby did that. He was not playing no games. Four course meal. He actually invited his um, brother and his sister in law over for dinner with us, and it was amazing. Um, at the end of the night, the chef wanted to do dessert, but the chef was like, I think it would be pretty cool if we did it on the rooftop. So we went to the rooftop, we ordered a bottle of champagne, we had a little section with the skyline, and when the chef brought up the dessert, baby, I opened up that thing, I almost passed out. Okay, when I looked up, my man was in front of my face, bowing down on his knee, and all I could do was cry i had the ugly face going y'all and he said this beautiful speech that i honestly can't even remember because i was just so lost in paradise it was freaking amazing it was everything he had planned this thing to a t he had my family on the phone on facetime set it up propped up and i didn't even realize it the ring was everything i've ever dreamed of i am a simple girl um so i've always wanted a um, solitary ring but my bae went the extra mile and added more diamonds to the band it is so beautiful everything that i've ever ever dreamed of um it was great it was the perfect proposal it was it was amazing it was amazing so i hope you like this video to continue following my um wedding journal from miss to missus make sure you subscribe and you know what hit that notification button as well because your girl is about to post a new video of some of the valleys <laughs> i've traveled through in this wedding planning process all right it's your girl amanda nicole peace